Hey girls and guys, it's Sarah from Style Let's Play and we are back with another episode of the 100 Baby Challenge. As you can see, we've got some updates to tell you guys about. First of all, Antonio has now aged up all by himself and this is him. He's very sad right now, but that's because I haven't been taking good care of him. I know, I've been such a bad mother. Another thing is I have reached level 10 cooking skills. I have mastered the art of cooking. I can't get any better than that now. So now I won't burn any meat. Meals. I'll cook quicker. It'll be perfect. I still have her on a workout regimen. I'm trying to make her eat healthy and all that good stuff. Right now, all the kids are at school except for Antonio since he just aged up. He has been helping me a lot with the baby though. With our little baby Nathan. A lot, a lot. So, um, huge thanks to him. Look, he's always like telling the baby to shut up. Why don't we change the dirty diaper? Go on, Antonio. He's like, I wasn't prepared for this. I didn't know that this is what being a teenager was going to do. Is he good now? Uh, let's bottle feed the baby. And then afterwards, he needs to get some sleep because he is tired. All right, you fed the baby. Perfect. Now go upstairs, Antonio, and go to sleep. I'm going to need to get a different bed for him as well because that one, that one's not good enough for him. And everybody's sleeping. Look at the kids. They're starting to like, uh oh, wait. Um, the teacher are down some outdoor studying time to get the kids out of the classroom for a while. Should Ross take his study outside or just ho go hang out outside with his friends until it's time to go back in? Since they were all really tired when they were going to school, we're just going to have them play outside. After 30 minutes of laughing and having fun with his friends, Ross feels totally Fresh and ready to get back to work. It's almost like his brain functions better when he's well rounded. See that? I know, I know, Ross. I know. I'm here for you. Don't even worry. So, Ross is going to be doing a little bit better at school right now. So, um, oh, does she need to do anything before the kids come home? Um, she is taking a nap. She is so exhausted that even though I do want her to cook a meal for them and stuff, I think I might have her just. Go ahead and sleep until she's fully rejuvenated. So I just realized Miracle was home the whole entire time. And then I remembered it's because she was feeling sick. So Fridays are my favorite day of the week because I don't have to prepare the kids for school or anything. So I could take my time with them. They don't have to do their homework. So Ross is completely exhausted. He, no, 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 don't, don't take a bath, Ross. They take too long. Go take a shower and then you could go have a nap or something. Uh, let's check on Jaden. Jaden goes straight to the computer, doesn't he? Of course he does. Why don't we have him play some video games? And everyone else is good. She needs to get up soon because her baby needs her. The baby is crying and no one's going to be able to sleep. Uh, okay, let's just have her wake up already. Oh, I hate waking her up when she's not fully rested, but she needs to. She needs to. A new baby. All right. You good? You Did you fix the toilet? You gotta go take care of your baby. Feed your baby. There you go. Is the baby gonna, like, age up soon, though? I hope so. Because I'm tired of dealing with crying babies. It's not fun. Change. Did you change his diaper? There you go. And then also just talk to the baby for a little bit. Talk to little baby Nathan. And then afterwards, um, she's lacking social skills right now because she's never able to do it. Wait, 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 wait. I made this food for everybody and it literally just went to waste. Oh, there's nothing worse than when you spend so long cooking a nice meal for everybody and no one appreciates it. <sighs> Let's make some flirty cookies then. Go on. Why is Jaden mad? Oh, he had an annoying day at school. Why don't we have him uh, socialize online, you know? <gasps> That's one thing we need to do. We need to get the kids to go ahead and get a part-time job. All the teenagers, because we got to move out of this house soon. We can't really have another baby unless we move out, because this house is getting way too small. So I was thinking, we need to get all the teenagers to find their job. They really do. Did he go in the bath anyway? These kids, they never listen to me, do they? All right, so we're going to have him find a job. Everyone needs to find one. Just like a part-time one, you know? After school, they could go work, get a little bit of money, give it to me. Ha ha ha. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, so select a career for Ross. He could be a barista, fast food employee. What's his personality like? Let's let's check that out first. Um, he's a party animal, so we need to get, get him to do something that's quite social. Um, so anything like the, the, the bar person would be good. Go on, find a job. So let's see. Babysitter wouldn't be good. Fast food employee or retail, any of these. Let's, let's have him work at a coffee shop. I think that'll be good. He'll work 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. only on weekends. That's good. That's a good little job because it's only two hours. He gets it over with in the weekend. Done. Perfect job. Now, Jaden, he is a romantic. All right. So let's see. What could he do? He could probably do the same job, actually. 
because you know he could serve the girl a coffee and be like hey girl here's and then put his phone number on her receipt or something you know hint hint wink wink uh, or fast food let's do fast food we'll do fast food i should have actually done fast food for ross but oh well it's still they're still social and these well, well i didn't even check uh i didn't even check when he works oh this is so bad he works three days a week Ooh! oh no he has oh he works sundays and mondays and he works for four hours oh my but that's okay because Jaden's gonna be aging up soon anyway and then antonio is going to be he's a goofball he's kind of the insane one we gotta find one maybe maybe manual labor would be good for him because he gets to take out all his steam you know all his frustration and his insanity and like hammering things away so the kids now have part-time jobs <laughs> saves me from having to work <laughs> Isn't that the greatest thing about having a hundred babies? All right, uh, let's check on our little baby. Is our baby okay? Let's have Miracle go bond with the with the little Bubsy. Uh, coo at. Go coo at the baby. Why is he feeling tense? We still, we need another computer. That's what we actually need. And in order to do that, we're going to have to paint again. Like paint another masterpiece, hopefully. So that we could get a couple computers for the kids. So let's see. Let's see if we could afford it. Do a, do a, do a landscape painting. Ooh, she actually didn't get that much money for that painting. Ooh, let's see. How much are they? Oh, we could afford it. Or we could buy a better one decisions decisions i think we need another one because we have so many kids we need more than one computer so that way they could study they could go have some fun on there and they'll feel a lot better so um antonio's doing quite good we're gonna have him use the toilet and then maybe he, he could socialize online a little bit maybe he could chat with elsa oh yes get it antonio get it and ross is just sleeping that's all ross does he, he's a party animal but all he does is sleep and miracle miracle's actually doing really well but you know what we have to start really focusing on her since she's going to continue on with all the babies we've got to make sure that we kind of just don't leave her like we've left all the other kids we've got to make sure she is a productive adult oh my gosh in the future she's not an adult yet is she so she her hygiene she needs to go take a shower she wants to have some fun so maybe we want her to like get some um why don't you go read something you know get read um Lucas Dark and the incredibly unlikely series of coincidences. This is absurd. That one would be a good one. And she needs to be social. I really need to take the family out sometimes. We've never left this house. It's really sad and embarrassing, isn't it? What's wrong with this baby? Wait, 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 woman, 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 don't leave. You went to the baby. You didn't even change his dirty diaper. You are a bad mother. Yes, you are. Okay, there we go. Oh, Nathan is very hungry. Go on, feed him. There you go. And then afterwards, we'll just rock him to sleep. And then she could go to sleep. Because she is tired. But she's always tired. When isn't she tired? Even though I want her to work out. Go on. Go upstairs. So Miracle, it's 6 a.m. right now. Miracle is just reading. And we're going to check on Antonio. He's still he's still talking. Oh, he's having a fun time talking to Elsa. Yes, you are. Look at him. He's having a blast right now. Yes, he is. So everything's good with him right now. Maybe, can we have him like cook a meal? Or What's broken? What's broken? Oh, the shower is broken. Let's have him repair it. Antonio's in a good mood. We'll have him repair it. And then, um, I wish he could cook. Can he cook? Oh, he can. Make some grilled cheese for everybody. All right, Antonio. Thank you. And when is Nathan aging up soon? Who's bir Somebody's birthday's coming up. Uh, it's, no, not Ross. Was it Jaden? I think it's Jaden. Oh, Jaden's going to be our first adult. Oh my gosh, we're going to kick him out as soon as he becomes an adult. He is getting out of our house. <laughs> He's like, I'm one of those parents. You turn 18, you're out. Bye. See you. See you later. Don't want to see you ever again. Unless you're here to help me take care of the rest of the kids. Uh oh, all the kids are not doing good right now. I'm not even paying attention. What's wrong with Miracle? She is feeling lonely so why don't we have her socialize with Jaden since he's feeling a little bit down anyway that might be a good a good idea and talk about your favorite animals there you go oh the baby's crying that's why everybody's a bit like oh my gosh go bottle feed the baby change the diaper and then just like cuddle him or something go on Ross oh Ross you're really getting in shape aren't you good for you Ross let's go have him work out one more time 
It's because he partied too hardy. And then he, he had to lose all his partying weight. So let's go. Get on, get on that trend. He's feeling inspired. Yes, you are. I gotta say, though, like... Rob is very, like... He kind of looks a little bit like Johnny Bravo or something. His face is very odd. <laughs> Don't worry. I still love you, Ross. You're still my child. Don't worry. You're still our, our second, right? How am I going to remember all their names and stuff? Uh, who's getting... She's getting a call from who? No, I don't want to go to a nightclub. She's a mom. She don't, she don't got time to club. She doesn't have time to even go toilet anymore. How do you expect her to go clubbing? Go use a toilet, by the way. And go take a shower because you smell, woman. You ain't never going to find a man if you smell like that. And you still got a lot more babies to make, okay? So she's going to do that. And then, oh, thank you to Antonio. Food is made. Oh, this is perfect. This is excellent. This is why I love having a lot of children, kind of. It's like a double-edged sword, isn't it? Antonio's feeling fine. Uh, Ross is still like, oh, he's playing with his toys. Okay. Uh, Ross, you just, oh. Ross, you just finished working out and then you're just gonna like not even go take a shower? You nasty. Go take a shower first and then eat something. Cause that's a little bit gross. That's a little bit gross. <laughs> All right, uh, then you could eat your, your grilled cheese after. There. So I just got a message say that Jaden starts working about an hour. And I was like, what the heck is he talking about? I was looking at the wrong time to see when they worked. So Jaden starts work at 5 p.m. And he's going to work now. He should be at work now, actually. <gasps> I didn't even make sure he was, like, okay for work or anything. He works at 5 a.m. And Antonio works at 7 a.m. So he's the one that has work in the evening time. Okay. Oh, I'm so sorry that I'm sending you to work. Oh my gosh. Let's admire him in his outfit though. You go, Jaden. Put a smile on the face, all right? First day at work and he's already not feeling good. This is terrible. This is really bad, actually. I should have done a better job to make sure he was at least going to be in a good mood. But no, I was very irresponsible as a parent right now. Very irresponsible. Oh, baby's crying again. This baby cries so much. Look, Ross is like, can you please just shut up? Shut up, you little baby. Uh, why don't you bottle feed him? Ross is like being very, very nurturing to this baby. He feeds the baby a lot, I gotta say. So did Antonio. Jaden's the only one that, that hasn't really. I would say Jaden did uh, more with Miracle than he has done with all the other babies. All right, so let's go ahead and have you work out again. Because that's what you do now. That's what you do now, Ross. You're addicted to working out. Look at the, the mess my kitchen is. Oh, my Jeebus. I know you... Is this broken again? Oh, let's just replace it. Uh, go ahead and go on a cleaning frenzy, girl. You've got to clean this whole place up. Go on. This place is... is this house is so dirty. Is she going to actually clean? I don't know where you're going to start with, though. Because you've got a big house. Look, downstairs is messy. Oh, she's putting away all the toys, all the books. Good, very good. Miracle is trying to get this baby to shut up. She's like, please, I'm tired. Just let me sleep. Go take a nap, Miracle. Uh, well, actually, you should. You could just sleep. Are there? Are there? <gasps> Why don't you talk to the monsters? Wait, wait. Ask to. No, don't spray. Don't. Can't you just talk to it? Like, hey, little monster, how you doing? Go sleep. Go to sleep. Go on. Miracle, go to sleep. Good. And then Ross needs to help again. Ross, the baby needs you. Change the dirty diaper. See what I mean? Ross is amazing. He is amazing. Oh, Jaden's back from work already. And he seems to be doing good. He got 72 simoleons, which isn't too bad. That isn't too bad, but he is going to be so tired. Yep. Just go straight to bed, Jaden. Go straight to bed. You did a great job at your first day at work. I am very, very proud of you. Just go to sleep. There you go. Poor guy. It's a long day. Ross, you better not start trying to wake him up and talk to him, okay? Don't do that. Don't be rude. I knew I was hearing a noise. I knew it. I was like, I, I hear things. I hear things. It's the refrigerator. It's broken. It is broken. We, we need to upgrade some of our appliances in this house because it is crazy how much they break. And look, the only option is to repair it. We'll have Ross do it. Go on, handyman Ross. You can do it. Fix the refrigerator for us, please. Is he going to do it? Yeah, you go, Ross. One day, you're going to make your partner very happy when you're able to fix all their appliances. You're going to definitely get a lot of bonus points for that one. Look at that. You did good. Good job, Ross. All right. You need to get to sleep as well. 
uh, who's calling Antonio this late at night? Don, what a bad father. He's calling him at 11.50 p.m. to try to get him to go out. That's very bad. Is Nathan, I'm still waiting for Nathan to age up. I'm just like, I'm just like, tick, 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 tick. Come on, please age up, little baby. I felt that in my heart. I communicated with Nathan telepathically through my computer. All right, so Nathan has aged up. A uh, day spent playing with toys, exploring the world, and learning to communicate with the world instead of tears await. All right, let's see. What do we want to make Nathan? We are going to make him independent. There we go. Oh, look, look at little baby Nathan. Oh, Nathan, I cannot even with you right now. You are so cute. Look at him. He is so adorable. Does he have like blue eyes? He does. He's our first blue eyed baby, I think. I think I, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to have to remodel the house a little bit, get some new furniture. Like I said, upgrade our appliances because we could take those with us when we move anyway. So I'm not too worried about spending the money because we can keep them anyway. Um, let's have him go to sleep on this bed for now because I don't want him staying awake while everybody is, is sleeping because that's just a recipe for disaster. A little toddler. No, he's not tired. He's like, I'm not sleeping. I don't want to. Don't go wake up, miracle, you naughty, naughty boy. All right, go play with your blocks instead. Go stack them up. Can he actually wake her up? He, he was going to. I saw it. I saw it. He was like, I want to wake you up. Yes, I am. So he's having fun with his blocks. We're going to have him go babble to his unicorn to work on his communication skills. And then, oh, look at how clean the house is except for that shower. That shower is filthy. What's wrong with him? All blocked out. Oh, he's bored of the blocks. So Jaden is awake and he's hungry. He's gonna he's gonna eat some cereal. Jaden, why don't you cook something for everybody? Why don't you serve breakfast? Egg and toast sound good. Go on. Go make them. Where is he going? Where, where do you think you're going? Just go cook. Yeah, thank you. And and where is uh, our little baby boy? He's oh he's in the kitchen. This kid just wants to talk to everybody. Oh ho, ho, ho. Look how happy he looks. Oh my gosh, I've never seen one of my children be so happy. Uh, why don't you babble? Go go talk to Antonio. Look at him. He's probably like the most uh, social kid that we've had. Don't ask for help. Okay, he's going to go play with his toy. All right, good. There we go. He's taking his toys out. Miracle is going to go use the toilet. How is she doing? She's hungry. Well, if you're hungry, can you imagine how all your kids are? Oh, Jaden's birthday! All right, so it's, it's Jaden's birthday. We've got to cook him a cake, and we're going to make him a go, gourmet cake. Yes, go make him uh, a cake. There you go. Is she going to go make it for him? Is she? I'm trying to work on my gourmet cooking skills, you know, so that one day I could become a gourmet chef. Yes. So the cake is all made. We gotta add some birthday candles because it's actually Ross and Jaden's birthday. So they're both moving out, which means we're gonna have three kids living in the house. This is so good. All right. So right now, it uh, let's let's go ahead and have Jaden blow out his candles. Let's uh, yep. Go on, blow out your candles. Go on, Jaden. Go on. You're gonna be so grown up now. This is such an emotional day for me. <gasps> He's an adult now. <laughs> Young adulthood, lifelong responsibilities, burgeoning, bur 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 career, and vast horizons await. Whoever said their 20s aren't a blast. So we have him as self-assured, a very cheerful person. So we want to continue on with that. So we're going to make him romantic because I think that'll be good. And then since we are making him romantic, we're going to give him um love he's gonna be a, a player player he's gonna be a serial romantic there you go Jaden. you are an adult now it's time for you to get out my house i'm just kidding and now it's ross's turn it's his turn too i like that <laughs> that nathan was just sitting in the toilet the whole time just chilling like okay cool story i'm just gonna sit here and go poop go on ross it's your turn Yay! So Ross was the crazy one. He's a goofball. He's overly creative. So to branch out on that, what do we want? We're going to make him an art lover. That's where he's going to get rid of all his goofiness and his creativity. So his lifelong dream will be creative and he is going to be a painter extraordinaire. There we go. So now our two boys, our adults, our first two boys, 
it's such a special day, isn't it? So um, pretty soon we're going to get them out because now they don't have school. They don't have a career. So we might pick a career for them. And then once they've settled into their job and stuff, we'll move them out into the real world where they will have to start their own families one day and all that good stuff. And it'll just be a little miracle, Nathan and I, because Antonio is going to age. Oh, Antonio's at work too. Oh my gosh. Because, uh, yeah, and where, where? Antonio still has some time actually. Miracle is going to age up in six days and then Nathan just aged up so he still has a lot of time. What is wrong with this little child? He's tired. If you're tired munchkin, why don't you go to sleep? Huh? Go on. Go to, go to bed. Go to sleep. He's like a restless little kid. Like he's tired but he doesn't want to go to sleep. So next episode we're definitely going to have a baby because the kids are moving out now, so it's time for them to go and live their life. And then for me to get some more kids, it would be so amazing if I could have uh, twins. Let's actually see how many more points we need for the fertility thing award. So here it is. It was under here. Fertile is 3,000. Oh, we could do that for her. Oh, if we do that, she has a better chance at having twins. And I've actually tried this out before on another Sim series, and it works. So we're definitely going to use that. Are you sure you want to purchase Fertile for 3,000 available points? Yes, I do. Perfect. So now we have a better chance at having twins. I cannot wait to have our first set of twins. That's going to be a nightmare, actually. A really bad one. I could barely handle one toddler. This should be interesting. But hopefully we do. That'll make the process a lot, a lot better. I did check the rules and it isn't cheating. So uh, we're all good with that. Using mother load is cheating though. And I'm saving. I'm telling myself I could use one mother load. Just one. But I'm going to save it for like a biggest emergency ever. So I don't want to use it just yet. Anyway, you guys, let me know your predictions down below. If you think I'm going to have a boy or girl. And also, I've got a quick question. After we have our 100 babies, how many of them do you think are going to be boys? And how many of them do you think are going to be girls? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you guys had fun watching. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and share. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!